Hello, my name is Paul Moore. I'm adjunct assistant professor at the Department of Education School of Medicine. Uh, I'm also the course director for this MSc in psychoanalytic psychotherapy, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to our course today and to give you a brief overview of what's involved in the course. So the, the MSc in psychoanalytic psychotherapy brings together two previously separate training programs, child and adolescent psychoanalytic psychotherapy and adult psychoanalytic psychotherapy, which have both run in Trinity College in one form or another for approximately 25 years. Uh, the MSc provides the first two years of a four-year psychoanalytic training uh, in, in psychotherapy. The, the, two, the first two years, the MSc is, is primarily an, an academic and theoretical component with some experiential aspects to it. The course is intended to develop students towards work in the area of psychoanalytic psychotherapy and is designed for applicants who are interested in working using a psychoanalytic framework. The course balances theoretical with experiential input and encourages a high level of exploration, um, self-development uh, and discussion of ideas and the process of, of clinical work with, with a variety of, of, of mental health presentations. Um, our MSc Executive Committee consists of six people. Um, Noreen Bracken, who is our Child and Adolescent Strand Lead, uh, Noreen is also the module coordinator uh, for the, the Child and Adolescent um, Clinical Concepts module and the Clinical Practice module. Uh, Noreen also lectures uh, across many of the modules on the course. Um, you can contact Noreen if, if you'd like to find out some more about the logistical and practical aspects of, of the four-year clinical training on the, on the Child and Adolescent um, strand. Uh, Jennifer Griffin. Uh, is, is a research module coordinator um, and, and a research supervisor and, and Jennifer also lectures across uh, many of the modules on, on, on the course. Uh, Roshin O'Boyle is the ad adult strand lead and Roshin is also the module coordinator of the clinical concepts module and the clinical practice module, the adult strand of, the, of, of that and, and Roshin also lectures across many of the, 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 the modules on the course. Uh, Roshin is also available to, to answer any questions you might have uh, in relation to the, the overall four-year training uh, of the adult strand um, of, of the course uh, and, and its logistical and, and, and practical um, requirements. And Julianne Lines is, uh, is the Infant Observation Module Coordinator. I'll say more about infant, our Infant Observation Module. Uh, a little bit later on, but it's um, it's it's a, a very interesting module, um, and we have extensive links with the um, the, the world-renowned Tavistock Clinic in, in London. Um, and Julianne is uh, is also the the, the seminar lead um, for for the infant observation facilitators, um, and Julianne also lectures uh, on, on different modules on, on the course and is involved in re research supervision. Um, I. I I uh, am also a research module coordinator um, and course director, um, and I, I lecture in main, mainly on theoretical frameworks um, module. And Magella Maloney is, is um, our senior executive officer and course administrator for, for the course. Um, so just a little bit about the course orientation or you know our, our own theoretical orientation as a, as a course and as a training. Um, we, we operate from the perspective of what's known as the, the independent tradition within psychoanalysis, uh, which is, a, which is a, a, a perspective that, that uh, takes quite an, an eclectic um, approach to the, the theory and practice of, of, of psychoanalysis. Um, so it's, it's not really a, a dogmatic approach. Um, we're, 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 we're quite open um, and uh, interested in lots of lots of different aspects of, 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 of psychoanalysis and how it's thought about and how it's developed across the years. Um, but we do have a very strong focus on what's known as object relations theory, uh, which is a particular um, or orientation, again, within the independent tradition. 
Um, the course provides a strong theoretical grounding in the seminal works of Freud, Melanie Klein, Wilfred Bion and Donald Winnicott, leading into a study of contemporary theorists and uh, practitioners of, of psychoanalysis in year two, um, where we, we cover a lot of the um, post-Kleinian and post-Freudian um, theorists um, and some and some of the, the contemporary developments within uh, psychoanalysis, such as uh, the new, the new uh, discipline of neuropsychoanalysis. Um, the, the course combines uh, academic and experiential components, uh, as I mentioned before, with a great deal of attention given to the development of uh, a reflective position. Um, the experiential components of the course, which are personal therapy and in infant observation, run alongside the, the academic inputs uh, with a view to developing the student's capacity for, for clinical practice. So it's, it's quite an integrative uh, training in, 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 that, in that way. So the Student, our students are, are, are learning uh, about psychoanalytic theory um, and its practice. At the same time, they're engaged in psychoanalytic ther therapy and, and they're observing psychoanalytic concepts in, in practice. So there's a group therapy aspect to the course as well. So it's, it is, it's quite, quite intensive, um, you know, but uh, theoretically and experientially. So who is, who is our course for? Um, the course is, uh, the course is, is uh, aimed at those who wish to train to become accredited psychotherapists who, are, who will be eligible for registration with the Irish Council for Psychotherapy, which is the umbrella organisation for psychotherapists in Ireland and provides a clinical register. Um, the, and particularly for, our course is particularly aimed at, at um, people who wish to become psychotherapists who, who work from a psychoanalytic uh, perspective. So cor the course offers three strands, child and adolescent psychoanalytic psychotherapy leading to a clinical training, adult psychoanalytic psychotherapy le le also leads to a clinical training and um, what we call a, an MSc only option and I'll, I'll say some more about that on the next slide. Um, so again, just to, to, to emphasize that the, the MSc itself provides the first two years of uh, an overall four-year training in, in psychoanalytic psychotherapy and provides uh, mainly the, ther the, the, the theoretical uh, component, the academic component of that training. Years three and four uh, are, are where uh, students commence uh, the clinical um, component of the four-year training and start see, seeing uh, clinical cases for, uh, for, for treatment. We, uh, we welcome applications from holders of, of a 2-1 honours undergraduate degree uh, or higher in a, in a related field, for example, psychology, medicine, psychiatry, social work, social care, uh, etc. We also consider applications on a case-by-case -case basis where a recognised degree was not available when the applicant initially trained and where the applicant can demonstrate what's known as relevant prior learning. Um, experience in a, in a related uh, field to mental health uh, is preferable. Um, also, uh, child and adolescent uh, applicants, it is, it is desirable that they have uh, experience in educational settings uh, or organiza organizational settings working with children. Um, after successful completion of the initial application procedure, applicants are invited to an interview uh, to help determine suitability and readiness at, at this time in their lives to undertake um, what is really a, a, a rigorous and demanding clinical training. Um, so just to, to go back to the, M the MSc only option, um, so Many, many of our applicants um, are already qualified to, to, to practice clinically and do not need to um, um, engage in a four-year training for accreditation. Um, such applicants um, join us to enhance their theoretical and clinical skills uh, with a focus on psychoanalytic work. So we recognize as well that some of our students may draw on what they learn in this course to, to develop an understanding of patients in mental health to understand children they work with as teachers or health professionals, or bring this to other and diverse contexts. In, in this instances, or in these instances, um, students may not decide to apply to continue training into years three and four. And, the, and again, you know, the, this is a very, very beneficial for 
for our students on the course who, who wish to continue to have the input um, from you know from people from professionals from other areas in mental health. The the course balances theoretical with experiential input and, and encourages a high level of exploration and discussion of ideas and, and, and the process of clinical work. Um, so just to give you a flavour of the, the course content, what, what we cover on the course and what you'll experience when you, when you, you come to study with us. Um, all students are required uh, to attend personal therapy while on the course. Uh, this is an accreditation requirement. And as I mentioned before, there, there are different requirements for the different strands. And this is, this is due to uh, there being different professional bodies and, and different training. Uh, requirements uh, uh, laid out by those bodies. Um, again, Noreen Bracken or, or Roshin O'Boyle can, can help you with um, further information on, on that as our, our strand leads. Uh, in addition to, to this, there are eight modules, four in year one and four in year two. In year one, um, we cover theoretical frameworks, infant observation, human development and clinical concepts. So theoretical frameworks are are, are theoretical seminars that take place on a Saturday, um, eight Saturdays across the year, approximately one a month um, during term time. And um, we, in the first year, we cover Freud, uh, so the the, the, the seminal um, um, uh, papers of Freud, Klein, um, Winnicott, and Bion are covered in year one, and, and that gives gives students a really a really good grounding in, in the origins of of psychoanalysis, um, w without which it's difficult to make sense of uh, the more the more contemporary um, theorists and developments in the field. And with the infant observation module, uh, students are, are required to observe a baby uh, as close from as close to birth as possible uh, once a week uh, for two years. Uh, this continues outside of term time. Um, for the two years and at the end of year one and year two students are required to submit an infant observation paper where they write, they write up their cases and, and, and link, link it to theoretical um, uh, concepts that are, that are encountered during the year. Uh, we have a human development module which is an, in an intensive one week module uh, Monday to Friday 9 to 5 p.m. Um, where we you know we we study the the development of, of human beings um, from a biological and a psychological perspective, with a particular emphasis on the psychoanalytic aspects um, of development across the human lifespan, so from from birth to um, to to senior years. Um, we also have a clinical concepts module that runs alongside these other three modules, and the idea is that it's an opportunity to integrate the experiential and the, the, the theoretical components that are encountered in the, in the first year. Year two is uh, sees us uh, cover theoretical frameworks uh, two, uh, where we, we move into looking at, um, um, you know, important theorists uh, who, who come after Freud and, 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 and Klein um, and, and developments in the field such as um, neuropsychoanalysis, the, 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 new, the new science, the new school of, of, uh, within psychoanalysis. Um, infant observation continues in year two. Um, we have a, a module called clinical practice, which builds upon the, the module in first one in, in, in first year clinical concepts, um, but it has a, a, a greater focus on practice as students move towards their the clinical component of their training. There's also a research dissertation, which begins at the end of year one with the submission of a research proposal, um, and students are supported across the year with um, with workshops and individual supervision um, to help them develop their research ideas and to, to, to write their, their research dissertation. Um, so the, the course is uh, designed really for people who are already working in the area. Um, so it's it's part-time um, and it's uh, it's structured, delivery structure is, uh, there, there's a t there are two one-week teaching blocks, usually in early September and the second week of January in both academic years. Um, in teaching in teaching time, teaching terms, um, there are uh, 22 Tuesdays across the year. 
um, Tuesday evenings, 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Um, and these times are, are, are constant across the two years. Um, on Tuesday evenings, um, infant observation seminars take place. Uh, there are tutorials where clinical concepts and clinical practice modules are, are, in, are, are, are run, where we integrate the theory and the experience. And there is a, a group therapy process um, that takes place on a Tuesday, Tuesday evening, um, where students have an opportunity to experience themselves in, in groups and to, to notice and to understand uh, psychodynamic, psychoanalytic processes um, as, as, they, as they occur in the group. The, there are eight Saturdays that uh, take place across the year, possibly one a month, um, and this is where th the theoretical framework seminars uh, take place. Um, so we've quite a, um, a, a broad range of research interests um, on the course, so our, uh, our core staff are, are um, involved in research and are interested in, in, in a broad a broad area of, of, um, of topics, and um, we, we encourage our students to uh, to explore these to these topics too. So some of the, the topics that we're, we're involved in, some of the areas we're involved in are in research are human development and attachment theory, uh, what's known as clinical neuropsychoanalysis, which is the application of psychoanalysis and practice of psychoanalysis in, uh, in neuro neuropsychological and neurological presentations. Um, what's known as psychodynamic or psychoanalytic neuroscience, where psychodynamic concepts, psychoanalytic concepts are explored um, uh, through recent recent developments and, uh, and, and research within the neurosciences. Um, areas uh, where the integration and application of psychoanalysis to diverse fields is, is explored. Um, and disability psychotherapy um, and uh, e-therapy, which is video therapy or telephone therapy, autism spectrum, um, psychotherapy efficacy and outcomes, applica the applications of psychoanalytic infant observation, um, and contemporary advancements in, in psychoanalytic theory and practice. So all of our, our, our research is clinically focused, um, so it's practical, um, and we, we encourage our students to publish um, if, if they wish to do so, uh, we, we, we support them as, as far as we can in that, to that end. So the, the MSc Career Pathway, what, what, you know, what does the MSc allow you to do? Um, upon successful completion of the, of the MSc, graduates may progress to year three of the four-year clinical training in the Department of Psychiatry School of Medicine. Graduates of the four-year training, once, once accredited, um, usually into private practice um, and um, um, find work in pr private and, and public organizations in, in, in the area of mental health. Um, so that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for, for your time and your attention. If you would like to, um, to, to discuss this further, please feel free to contact me. I'm happy to arrange a phone call. Um, or a Zoom call um, to to uh, to discuss any of uh, any of the content here, um, and also there's a there's a really good uh, informative frequently asked questions document on to be found on our on our website. So thank you.